This is one of my brothers, Mahmoud. What's your, you're like undefeated or something? Yeah, 19 old. Yeah, the kid's a phenom. <laughs> the kid's a phenom and uh, he's the one who actually fixed my hook. I went to a lot of different coaches, they all have different techniques, but this man over here gave me a deadly, deadly hook. I'm up because I got it too because of him. You put more attention Yeah, more back. Thank you, brother. So now you're beginning to see the difference made by just adding intention to reiterate this again. You know, with this one kid who was undefeated, he learned how to box in Lebanon. He uh, showed me how to really put your back into your punch, into your hook. And so it should be guarding the chin like this. And you should feel the engagement from your lats pulling the shoulders slightly forward and in doing so you get that reach you get the defense but you also get a solid hook if you want more power you can engage your chest as well by having the angle a bit lower but in doing so you're more vulnerable you see uh there's a lot of sun you do this with uh, Pablo costa pulling away as he comes in but if you want to keep that solid defense with Good power, solid power. Just pivoting from your hips into it. That's the feeling you want to go for. You want to feel it load into your arm, but as you do, you want to engage your back. In doing so, now let's go back to the topic of this video. Let's add some intention. Still calm, still relaxed, but that feeling to crush. You can feel a huge difference in the strike. And that's how the premise of intention works. By expending more energy, by categorizing a feeling, loading that feeling up with a label, and then getting that feeling to envelop you when you strike, still remaining calm, 
you're still able to see the moment. I was forced. You could tell the last one was forced. It should never be forced. It should be natural. It should come out of you naturally. So some feints. And you're getting the picture of it. Now, this is a philosophy for life. Of course, if you add this much intention and you're just spamming punches like I did, your gas tank is gonna go very fast. It's not the most efficient, but if you're patient, if you're throwing a lot of feints and you're taking your time, one well-timed sting like a bee, intention can completely change the result of that punch. But again, back to the point of this video. This is a facet of life in and of itself. The intention we take to life completely changes how we articulate out. One of the things martial arts or any difficult endeavor teaches you is how to build a strong intention. When you lift something up, whoa, as you can tell, I'm not really a power lifter. I don't really, I don't know how that's, I don't have the right intention for it, but this goes with everything. The intention you put forward into life completely transmutes how you articulate out. You have to put your soul into what you do and you have to exercise that. Even if you hate it, you have to transmute it and learn to love it, learn to do it, learn how to be consistently putting forward the right intention. Because if you do, eventually you will get paid more. And if not, you will end up in opportunities that pay you more. Even if you're somewhere where you absolutely hate it, just try your best. Start there, learn how to build a foundation you can respect and learn how to put forward intention. It doesn't have to be to crush, it could be to serve as well as possible. It could be to just Try and be methodical. Whatever is the best intention for whatever you're doing, the categorized feeling, try to polarize yourself into a positive mental state and consistently deliver that feeling that's best suited for that environment. That's the secret to life. Regardless of where you are, you will have an amazing life if you learn how to do this. Consistently, your life will just keep getting better and better and better. The temple is everywhere. The world is your temple. When you move into something you truly care about, truly love, you can bring that intention with you. You can bring those feelings with you. You can elevate that world and in doing so, wherever you go, you elevate that place too. You can build a foundation anywhere, anywhere. Start small, start with everything. Just practice building Powerful intention, powerful intention, loving intention at times. As a man, that's what we do. We set intentions, we set intentions to hunt. And as teams, together, we work together to fulfill that intention. That's just it, clear intention. Letting the pieces fall as they may, with faith. Everything will be just fine.